Right, good morning from the island of Tenerife, my friends. No, it feels good saying that, doesn't it? For me to say that, because really, that's where all this started, isn't it? I know I did my first video in the United States, but it really took off uh, when I was here on the island of Tenerife. Now I'm here, it's a flying visit. I flew in from Benidorm. Uh, I'm only here for about three or four days, so I can do as much as I can do for you. Uh, we're gonna start it off with a little breakfast this morning. I'm being a bit selfish because I'm stopping at the Park Santiago 2. Now I'm stopping in a lovely apartment uh, of a friend of mine, uh, friends of mine, Desi and Derek. So I uh, did a review on that. I'll put the link at the end and the description down below. And if you wanna stop here, it's in a great location. In fact, just around the corner from Aberdeen Steakhouse. And I thought, do you know what? Fancy a breakfast. Let's give them a go. They're good with meats, so surely they should be good with breakfasts because it consists of sausages and bacon, which is meat. So we're going to give that a go. If I get a chance, I will go back to Aberdeen Steakhouse because many years ago, uh, before uh, I was doing vlogging, etc., and I came here with uh, my ex-wife and Paige and Caitlin, we went to an Aberdeen Steakhouse uh, over near Costa Adequa, and it used to be absolutely fantastic in fact believe it or not the uh, waiter was called Manuel and uh, he remembered us every time that we went whether he did or not that's a different matter so we're gonna go and get breakfast this morning it is a bit windy but it is um, the forecast is to cheer up today and the sun is gonna come out so I'm gonna enjoy the little coolness that and the cool breeze that's in the air before uh, it gets really humid and hot Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do me a favour, it doesn't cost you a penny, just hit the subscribe button and uh, click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. What that will do is it will push this video out to other people that are interested in Tenerife and it doesn't cost you a penny, as I say. Subscription is not like a magazine. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, here we are, Aberdeen Steakhouse. Now, I'm gonna come back if I can to have the steak, because I'm told that it's not too bad. I mean, Gary and Sue here, who are extras in the background, actually, uh, have uh, told me they're having, Ply, what time is it? 20 past 10. 20 past 10, hey, five o'clock somewhere, and you're on holiday, so what does it matter? <laughs> Last one. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently their son's had the steak here and he's a bit fussy. Is that right? Yeah, he is. He is fussy. So, uh, and he says it's not bad, so I might come back if I get time. But we're going to go for the breakfast this morning. We're going to go for the Aberdeen breakfast, I think, uh, which is the big one. Go big or go home, as they say. And a latte as well, or a latte or cafe con leche. Por favor, because we're in uh, Tenerife. I was going to say Spain, but it's a Canary island. I don't like saying Spain, do they? So anyway, gonna head on in there, uh, we'll sit outside, we'll get it ordered, and we'll mark it out of 10. You guys have got to mark it out of 10 as well, uh, on looks and on price, and on my facial expressions as well. So uh, there we go. And you'll have to mark it in the comment section when you get back well, we'll, we'll, and tell we'll, me what you we'll, think yeah. of it. We'll put a comment on, please. Put a comment on, so uh, come on, onwards my friends.
Right, my friends, so I have gone and ordered the Aberdeen full English breakfast, which is three fried or scrambled eggs, three slices of English bacon, two sausages, baked beans, mushrooms, hash browns, black pudding, grilled tomato, toast, jam and butter. I've also asked for a cafe con leche, por favor, uh, and uh, also an orange juice. That's seven sheets, 95 sh pieces of shrapnel uh, in euros. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I have got a little bit of a hunger on uh, as I've not eaten much uh, since I got here yesterday. So uh, don't forget, we're marking this out of 10. You guys are gonna mark it out of 10 as well. Uh, and if I do get time, like I say, I will come back for the steaks. If I don't, let me know if you've been to Aberdeen Steakhouse in the comment section down below and let me know what you think of the steaks. Right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Where's my coffee? Right, well, I've got to say this is uh, rather huge, um, but I'm going to reserve judgment until the end, uh, and you know what that means. Um, no brown sauce, we've got tomato sauce. Um, bacon, let's have a look at the bacon, doesn't look too bad. Um, some of it looks a little bit dry, but we'll, I'll tell you what, before we have a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, so uh, I think first things first, we'll get rid of the beans off of there in a little ramekin. We might need them actually, just to uh, add a little moisture, very watery in there actually, anemic, anemic watery beans. Hmm, okay, right, we've got the uh, sausage there, uh, standard catering sausage as normal. Sometimes though, you know, they don't taste too bad. Um, there we go, lots of flies around. Um, Hmm. <coughs> Just one minute. Very dry. Right, okay. We'll skip over that. It's going for the eggs. Very, uh, that one's overdone. Okay, hash brown. It's going for the hash brown. Come on, can we bring it back with the hash brown? Crispy on the outer there. Got a crispy outer on the hash brown. Fluffy on the inner there. Hmm. Okay. It's not bad. We're going for the bacon again. Here's the bacon. There you go. So there's your bacon. Have a look at the bacon there. British bacon, allegedly. Um, so, try it out if I must. Looks a little bit dry again. Very salty. Not got a bad, to be honest, not got a bad taste to it though. A little, little on the dry side. Going for the mushrooms here. Okay. A little dry. We've got the tomato here. I'm not sure what that is actually, but there we go. Fresh tomato. You mean a fresh slice of tomato. 
Where's the rest of it? Um, black pudding. I'm not sure what to make of that. Let's have a go. I don't know what you think. It's, I keep my voice down. It's not overly appetising. I think maybe they should stick to steak. No, that's not good. Right, the eggs. Um, I just take a close look at the egg and tell me what you think. Right, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat a lot of this. I am fairly hungry as well. I think I'll eat a little bit of bacon. Um, the eggs just don't look appetising. I'll give it a go. I think he's come to Earwig. Ah, do you know what? I think I'm just going to eat a little bit more of this. Um, and then um, I'm not even going to do... Ang I, normally I'll film angles with me eating it with facial expressions, but I can give you one, a facial expression right now. Are you ready? Okay, so, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. The coffee's good. Coffee tastes nice. And I've heard the steaks are very good. See you guys in a minute. Right, well, I don't know where to start with this one. Good grief. You know me, I like to be honest. 11 euros, 18. Cafe Con Leche, 250. Aberdeen breakfast, if that's what you can call it. 7.95. Um, it was drier than Gandhi's flip-flop. Uh, I can think of a few other descriptions, but uh, they won't be allowed on YouTube. Um, so I'm not going to use them. Sausages, standard catering sausage, which is the norm out here, but you do get a different standard of, candor, standard of, cat of catering sausage. Um, can't get my words out, my mouth's that dry. Um, and that was got to be the lowest of the low. And for a steakhouse like that, you'd expect their meat to be good. Bacon, to be fair, it, it was dry, but it had got a nice salty taste to it, a slight salty taste, and it wasn't, but it was just inedible. It was just, but it wasn't a foul taste in bacon, let's put it that way. The sausages were dreadful. The beans were watery and anemic, uh, with zero taste in them whatsoever. The mushrooms were dry again, and chopped up in quarters or whatever, or into little miniature if you look at the actual footage back where you see the picture of what they've taken this is why i never do you know what i broke my golden rule i've gone into a restaurant that's got photographs outside of the breakfast and expect it to be like that why put a picture of a breakfast if it's not going to look like that any place that put, puts photos outside always avoid as a rule um but there are exceptions, I guess, uh, if, if they get it right. Um, the toast, I ate that. Ash browns, didn't taste great. I ate one of them, was it? I'll have to look back at the footage. Um, I don't like wasting food, and you're going to say some people are going to go, oh, there's people starving. But let me tell you this, I wouldn't feed that to my worst enemy. It's absolutely dreadful. Um, I'm not going to ask for my money back because um, the guy hardly understood English, which is fine, it's his country. Uh, so and we should learn their language. So, but you know, if I wasn't doing this video, I would have asked for my money back um, and gone into some kind of argument with them. But no, just absolutely dreadful. Avoid that place for the breakfast. It makes me wonder whether I should go back for the steak. If the, I mean, you would expect a steakhouse to get a breakfast right, wouldn't you? Let's put this in perspective. Um, there's a place in Mansfield that I went to that do steaks, Barlow Steakhouse, and they did a breakfast, and it was a butcher's breakfast, if you look back at that. And that is what you expect a place like a steakhouse like that to do. You don't expect them to come out with some dried up garbage that looks like, ah, oh, has been in the desert for three years. Now, uh, for me, score-wise, 
I'm, I'm at a loss to even score it, to be honest. Um, maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but I don't think I am, actually. I think you'll agree with me on this one. I'm going to go with... The to toast was nice, jam was a bit cheap, um, coffee was nice. Two? Honestly, I wouldn't feed it to my worst enemy, so there we go. Uh, that's the Aberdeen Steakhouse. Hopefully the steaks are better. If I get a chance, I'll go back, but do you know what? It doesn't draw me in. And if you're watching Aberdeen Steakhouse, right, that should be something to learn by, because if your breakfasts are really, really good, then maybe they'll go back for the steak. Do you see what I mean? And where I'm going from? No, awful. Lots of better places. There we go. That's all from me today. Uh, didn't I've not started off on a good foot of her. But do you know what? I can't. I've just got to be honest. No, it's not great. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we'll find somewhere better. Um, I, I mean, anyway, I'm lost for words. What a load of rubbish. See you later. Bye-bye.